Overview The Mazda MX-30 is the Japanese automaker's first foray into the revolution of all electric vehicles, and thus an entirely new model for the brand, making its first entry for the 2022 model year. It takes the form of a subcompact SUV crossover, similarly sized to the Mazda CX-30 it's based on. However, the new car borrows the sports car character of the MX-5 Maeda with impressive handling. It competes against the Ford Mustang Mach-E, Hyundai Ioniq 5, Hyundai Kona Electric, Volkswagen ID, Ford, Kia Niro EV, Nissan Leaf, Mini Cooper SC, Chevrolet. Unfortunately, at first, the new MX-30 will only be available in California before extending sales to the rest of the country. As Mazda moves into joining other electric vehicles on the road, their first all-electric powertrain for the Mazda MX-30 consists of a 143-horsepower electric motor mounted to the front axle with an output of 200 lb-ft of torque. Safety Features 4 5 stars The iActiveSense is a safety suite of features available on the Premium Plus MX-30, which provides collision mitigation and lane-keeping assist features to help reduce the risk of a car accident. Front Cross Traffic Alert forms part of the safety suite and will sound a warning if it senses any dangerous cross traffic at parking lot speeds. The MX-30 comes with an impressive amount of advanced standard safety features, which keep it aligned with similar offerings by rivals like the Volkswagen ID.4 and Hyundai Ioniq 5. Standard safety features include forward automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, active lane control, and blind spot monitors. Front parking sensors and blind spot assist are also available. Practicality 3 5 stars. Much like the BMW i3, the MX-30 features reverse opening rear door. When opening both the front and rear doors, you get a wide opening to access the rear seats. Some people see this door design as impractical because it requires the front doors to be open before the rear doors. But we came to appreciate them in our week of testing. Getting small kids in and out of their car seats was much easier with this door design. For example, the MX-30 stands out with its impressive class-leading cargo space. Behind the rear seats, there are 21 cubic feet of space, which is excellent for a small EV. The cargo capacity increases when the 60-40 split folding back seat folds forward. The Nissan Leaf has rear seats that fold almost completely flat. Styling and design for 5 stars. The MX-30's cabin is uniquely attractive and uses natural and sustainable materials, including cork, which we loved, recycled felt, and breathable fabric upholstery made from recycled plastic bottles. While the materials are not only sustainable and fashionable, the designer, Simona Merker, has said that the textiles and the cork line door handles and trays are just as durable and easy to clean as the more commonly found interior plastics and leathers. The front seats are a little firm, but they offer eight way adjustability, power lumbar support, and a good seating position. Unfortunately, the back seats are cramped because of the curved roof line and the legroom is limited for taller passengers. If the driver's seat is all the way back, there is almost no legroom behind the driver's seat. Driving Experience 3.55 Stars The driving experience is where Mazda truly shines, and the MX-30 follows suit with its excellent ride quality, except for the fact that it can be a little slow. The electric car is no faster than a subcompact economy car despite its inherent torque advantage. Unfortunately, its slow acceleration 8.7 seconds to reach 60 mph places the MX-30 as one of the slowest in its class. Fortunately, like its Maida sibling and most of the Mazda lineup frankly, the MX-30 has a playful and fun-to-drive chassis, matched with exceptional steering and handling. In fact, its eager handling is exactly what earned the electric crossover the MX its name. The MX prefix is only shared with the brand's MX-5 Maida sports car. The telescopic steering wheel has paddles behind it to help the driver adjust the amount of regenerative braking needed. With a couple of tugs on the left paddle, you will get a decent amount of lift off deceleration, which charges the battery as much as possible and almost makes it somewhat. Value 2.55 stock. The new Mazda MX-30 is substantially more expensive than the Nissan Leaf, which starts around $27,400, which is the MX-30's closest rival. The Chevrolet Bolt EUV is $470 cheaper than the MX-30, while its other closest competitor, the Hyundai Kona Electric, starts around $34,000. While its pricing may seem on par for the class of compact EV crossovers, the MX-30 offers less value with its minimal driving range of only 100 miles and subpar performance. 
To put the MX-30 into perspective with its value, despite having a much higher sticker price than the Chevrolet Bolt, it offers less than half the Bolt's miles of range. Tech Features 3.55 Stars Mazda didn't follow the Tesla trend of a sparse dashboard enlivened only by a large infotainment screen. Instead, it developed a conventionally hooded digital instrument cluster and a 7-inch touchscreen in the center stack which is surrounded by physical controls and knobs for the climate control. Overall, everything is well-placed and easy to use with minimal distraction from the road. The infotainment system doesn't have touchscreen functionality, which most competitors offer. Efficiency 3.5 stars The MX-30 offers a disappointing EPA estimated 100 miles of Unfortunately, that figure places it at the bottom of its class, with some electric cars producing as much as 500 miles so the many shoppers will want. At least 200 miles. The Volkswagen ID 4 Kia Niro EV offer more than 200 miles of range. Highway driving is where the MX-30 really lost most of its range. We saw maybe 70 miles of cruising at speed before we needed to plug it in. The flip side is that around town, the car was much more efficient, easily and consistently returning more than the 100 miles of estimated range. Over our week with the car, 181 miles of testing, we average 3.2 miles per kWh in more city driving than freeway, which would easily beat the 100 miles of range. What's it going to cost me? There is only one electric powertrain available for the Mazda MX-30 comprising of a 143 horsepower electric motor on the front axle paired with a 35.5 kWh lithium-ion battery to power the front-wheel drivetrain. The base MX-30 is a starting MSRP of $33,470 excluding the $1,225 destination fee. Standard features include a large 8.8-inch center infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the latest Mazda Connect infotainment system, a 7-inch digital gauge display, power moonroof, heated power folding mirrors, heated front seats, an auto-dimming rearview mirror, 18-inch alloy wheels, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel. A thorough safety suite also comes standard on the base model that includes forward automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, active lane control, and blind spot monitors. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.